All right, here we go. We're talking about UV textures, uh, skin textures for Second Life. So you can see this is my Second Life avatar. Let me see if I can turn him around here. And you can see he's wearing a UV map. And my little avatar is wearing a UV map. Wow, Quark, how'd you get your avatar to wear a UV map? Well, I'm glad you asked that. What we're going to do here is uh, show you how I did that. Okay, so you can click on a folder. Any folder will do. And if you notice here, there's a setting that says new body parts, and we're going to go new skin. All right, so we click on new skin. And new skin, that's a good name for it. So now we are going to wear our new skin. You have to wear a skin in order to edit it. So now I'm wearing the skin. There you go. Doesn't look that great. And if I right click on this and go edit, now I can edit the skin. Now notice there's three parts here. There's a head part, there's an upper body part, and a lower body part. Okay. So we're going to need some textures for these three. And I'm going to upload my UV map. So we'll go up here to build and upload and bulk upload because there's three, actually three files. So bulk upload. And you can see here that I have the UV maps and I'm going to put all these in the description so you can download them from uh, the description site. And I'm going to click on these three maps and open them. Yay, look at us go. Alrighty then. So you can see they're uploading, uploading. Here's two of them. They're at, whoa, lightning fast. Really good. Okay. So now if I click on this head one, I double click it. It says, you want to put a texture on there? Yeah, sure. And I will choose the head texture. And boom, there it is. It goes right on there. Click OK. And you can see I got a UV map and my head texture. See? Pretty good. Pretty good. Now you don't have to do it like that. You can actually grab... Like if I left click on this, this is the uh, top one. So that's going to go here in the upper body. So I can grab this with my mouse. I'm going to left click on it and hold it down. Then go over here and let go. And boom, it puts it on there. Look at us go. All right, now I've got the bottom here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Left click there and boom, put it on there. Okay, so now if you look at my avatar, you can see he is now a UV map. Now if I want to save this skin, which I do, because I want to wear this later. I got to go save as and new skin new. That's a good name for it. And now I have a skin you can see that is a, a, a thing now that I can wear it anytime I want to look like a UV map. Boom, I got it. So yay. All right, things to be noticed. Okay, so if we look at this head texture, right, I can double click on this head texture and it'll show me in a little view over here. So let's get rid of this. Let me open this up so you can see it. You'll notice on the head texture that it says over here, head template, and it says Robin Wood and 2005. So you might expect that that would appear on my avatar because it's on the template that I just put on. It's on the image, right? Okay, but no, that doesn't happen. The only things that are going to be applied to the image are the parts of this image that are related to my avatar. That's why they call it a UV map, I guess. Now, if you look at the map here, these are the eyelashes. This is the ear. This is the other ear. You can't see my mouth and teeth because my mouth is closed. One side of the head, the other side of the head, the face. Okay. So if we, we want to use these templates to make a face or head uh, picture that will look good on our avatar. So this template, like if you painted lips right here, you know, with any uh, image editor that you wanted. You could use Photoshop, you could use GIMP, you could use a paint program. There's hundreds of them you could use to do this. You paint this on here and it would be applied to your image texture. But this this part, you could paint anything you want there. It's not going to uh, uh, show up on your head. Like, you know, we just put that on there and you can look around and you can see, nope, not on there anywhere. All right, so this part of the tutorial is going to be enough for most people. So I'm going to stop here and I will continue in another tutorial to show how we are going to put these textures on there a little later on. Okay, good to go.